Hello and welcome to a bulk out try on. Oh, wait, no, this is, this is the wrong out. Ah, much better. The bulk out try on, <laughs> as I was saying. Hello, welcome to the uh, non naked portion of the bulk out try on. Uh, I'm going to do be doing a lot of, well, th this is an outlier because this is a brand new one that I just found. Because I'm thinking about getting rid of all of the ones I'm going to try on after this. So I absolutely love going to thrift shops, shopping around, seeing what places have good, what would be cool for photo shoots, and trying on dresses. As you can see, as we're doing right now in this trying portion video. Um, the extended portions of the video can be found on OnlyFans and Patreon, so be sure to check out my links below so you can find them on the rest of the internet. Uh, this one in particular, it's a 910, but it fits like a 3-4 or something. I don't know, but I think it might be a good match for um, doing some dancing videos. I could take it in just a hair. I'm really, when I say that, it's like I'm never going to do it. <laughs> but without any further ado, well, let's get on some more clothing out. So we'll see if I may And say, there's no way I could possibly be getting rid of these ball <laughs> This one actually is another outlier. I'm not trying to get rid of this one. It's just close to Christmas and I thought, I want to wear something red and poofy. I guess I could put some on my mannequin while I'm um, wearing my ugly Christmas sweater that is currently on my mannequin. So this is a giant poof duh. I love my giant pictures. I'm going to move this down just a hair. Let's see if we can get a little better angle up in here. Up in here. Hello. I think it's a little long. <laughs> it might be difficult to walk around in. Christmas party. Darling. 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 <laughs> oh, this try on. The trying on ball gowns with a purpose. Try on, try on, trying on. <laughs> So, as much as I really like this dress, and it's really pretty, it's just too long <laughs> for life, and I don't even think if I cut it off a whole bunch, I could do anything with it, but tell me if you think I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Say, don't let the ball gowns get them. keep them forever. <laughs> think this one. Let it go, let it go, if you're thinking of getting rid of something right now. Let it go. So the reason I'm thinking of letting go of this one is I've tried this on before, and that this there, this this department, is for someone that has a lot more letters in the alphabet than I have, so um, I'm not even gonna try it all the way on because I know the end of this story. Actually, they didn't grow. But does it seem like this fits slightly better than usual? Okay, I'm gonna do the zipper thing. Get it all the way on, let's get it on. Okay, well, it is at least on now. I mean, there's like nine feet of space between this and this, but it's, it's a personal problem, right? So if we had someone who had these, <laughs> they could wear this dress. Yeah, it's not me though. But look how pretty it is. Could I wear this as a skirt? All right, Patreon only, fans only. Aha! <laughs> look, and I tucked it in, and this even makes it look like I have even ones of those. So I can sort of walk around now, although I feel like I'm walking around in a movie, which is not usually flattering, which is usually what I go for in photos. Oh, it's just so pretty. This one's hard. I'm gonna find a maybe pile to put it in and say, maybe? Or maybe I should let it go to someone who could fit it. I mean, that's the other option. And then I can buy more dresses. <laughs> I put them on consignment, people buy them, I get money, I buy more dresses, they stay in the cycle. I like thrifting. <laughs> it's a thing. I'm now stuck. Uh, I'm in. <laughs> so in my next life, if I come back as a woman who enjoys ball gowns, I, I'm putting on my wish list, can I be like one foot to six inches taller than I am now so I could walk in some of these? Because let's face it, I'm not going to get these in. I, it costs so much more to do that than it's just like, look, I bought this for $12 at Goodwill. It doesn't fit me, but I can take a photo of it. This one is, is again in the maybe pile. Um, I don't really love mermaid dresses. They don't, they just don't seem very flattering to me. But I don't have this all the way cinched on. And, uh, um, it is a little big for me in this apartment as they usually are. But wait, can we fix that? Mm, probably I 
Irish? I don't know. I just want to buy ball gowns that I can walk around my house in. And this 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 extra length at the end. It's not helpful with that game. <laughs> I did buy moon shoes once because I thought, hey, these are six inches taller, but I'm still too short for most of my gowns. I was like, come on, and I'm in this ridiculous space you can't walk in. <sighs> Another one for the maybe, but probably no, to be honest. Although I think since they're ball gowns, I'm just like, yes, yes, keep this one in, yes. <laughs> yes. So part of me also wonders with this dress, if I could just take it to consignment and say, hey, does anybody want this if I would make so much money because I paid a dollar for this down in, I think, Mississippi? Although someone put uh, booby pads in here so it would look like the boobies were bigger, but I'm going to need more than pads if we're going to play this game. Oh, this one's missing. So this one's bigger than that one, which is fine. So, what do we think? Photo shoot ready material, model material, not gonna wear for anything material. <laughs> I am a material girl. Do 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 elegant in a material world. Do 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 do. I don't know. Let's see. We will see. Time will tell. I think I'm gonna watch this video before I decide because I can't really see very well what's going on. Although does this look strange? Are these like shoulder pad? I don't know. I think no. It just fits a little too odd for life. All right, we gotta know if these were no's. That's why they're down here. Although, the more I'm gonna try on, the more I'm like, don't get rid of this one. <laughs> so this one is too long. Um, but my really good friend gave it to me and he said he wanted to do a shoot in it. But it's been like seven years. <laughs> so and then some of these dresses are in that pile too of like, well, I said I wanted to shoot in these, but it's been forever and ever. I am gonna keep that one over there. <laughs> so maybe no? Am I gonna no? Uh, I've gotten to that point where enough people know about my ball gown obsession. They just come to me and that's amazing. <laughs> so so Red Feather Books is to that point where friends and family know, hey, you want books? Donated and ball gowns donated. And as much as I love this little one, I have worn it and I can't really breathe in it. Those are two things that are highly valuable to me. So although it fits really well, it does not fit for breathing, unfortunately. So I think I'm probably gonna have to pass on this one, although if there are any super last minute photo shoots happening right this second, I could totally wear this dress because it is very comfortable enough to shoot in as long as I'm chest breathing. Belly breathing, not so much. <laughs> Breathing, breathing's good. Breathing's one of my favorites. Really short. <laughs> so if you, sometimes if the dress is cheap enough, I just buy it. Like the first one I bought today, or I tried on today, I just bought it because I was like, hey, it was what, three bucks? This one was, I think, 12. Usually once we get to 20, we're talking some serious cash money hand over. So I tried them on, but I did not try this on. I think I regret it <laughs> because it just fits really weird. Like it's got some odd shapes to it. Like what is going on with the shoulders? They're not quite shoulder pads, but it's definitely some sort of something that's going on, what's going on? Although part of me thinks as I'm doing this uh, video, I should stop and just mumble in each of these dresses so I have photos of me in them. Just in case, just in case. <laughs> it's like, oh, you know what would be perfect this dress, but I got rid of it. <laughs> So, I don't know. I'm gonna go to the bathroom here and check this one out. This is another one where there's no breathing allowed, which is, you know, one of my favorite activities. I mean, I just did a whole book of guided meditations about using your belly to breathe, which is really helpful. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you guys in a minute. I have to go look at some mirrors and make some, some deep, dark decisions. Okay, so that whole shooting everything before I get rid of it, uh, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I have some sort of giant rash all over my body, and it looks really bad in the picture. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not feeling a modest about the rash. I'm just like, oh, that is not a good look for <laughs> trying to be all glam. So I'm going to keep this. I put it in my uh, to get rid of soon pile, <laughs> but not yet. <laughs> Should I know what <laughs> cake? Uh, I don't really love the way this does sort of, I'll call it like a double tiered effect. So you look like a poof to cake, and then it's like so sort of weird, like a short person had it. No, I didn't do this, but, but they found a way to make it shorter without pinning it. 
I'm curious to see if that's what they did. Ah, uh, yeah, I think this might be a host owning modification. I was going to say moderation. No, I don't think so. I have no idea what's going on. But I don't like how it makes you look like a weird poof to cake. I have shot someone in this and I was like, hmm, you look like a poof to cake. <laughs> I didn't really say that to their face. But, yeah. I don't know, I'm just not crazy about it. I have so many other wedding dresses that I am so crazy about, and also just crazy. Although the other opinion, option, rather, is to paint it. Paint it. I don't know. What do we say? Painted wedding dress? I'm putting this in an even in another another maybe pile because I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'm just really bad at getting rid of things. I'm fairly good at buying them, but I've been using moderation lately. <laughs> uh, so here's another one. I don't remember if I've shot in this or not, but if I did, it was part of a seven part series that still hasn't ever been completed. Oops. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say, what to think, what to do. Can't even get the zipper up. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> okay, I'm regressing. I have to keep this way. <laughs> But I found, I have a newly found appreciation for it. I'm excited to keep it because it has a very large uh, underskirt area so I can put a giant hoop skirt on it, which therefore means I can usually walk when I wear a hoop skirt. I'm excited about it. The only thing I'm not crazy about is I probably will need to tape this to my body because it's one of these things. <laughs> it's like if I was a butterfly and I was trying to fly away. <laughs> Clothes, wearing them. The other thing is, you can't put this on by yourself because the zipper is kind of weird, but I get help by myself. Well, the good news is I am finding some, some appreci new appreciation for my uh, clothes I already have. This is better than shopping, right? You don't even have to spend money to do it. <laughs> Work at home for fun and profit. So, we've got this guy. This was a size 2 or 0 or something ridiculously small. It was altered to be even smaller. So it just barely, barely fit after I unaltered it. And it's just sort of been, I don't know, it just looks sort of lamish, is that the word? It's another one of those mermaid dresses. Oh, it is too small. There we go, perfect reason to get rid of it. But I don't know, if I was doing like a gray lady or something, this could be cool. And maybe I will see if another photographer needs some of these dresses before I take them to the assignment. I don't have it all the way on. But you get the point, it's a dress, it goes on. <laughs> eh, I don't know. If it had more poofta at the bottom. Do we need more poofta? I think we need more poofs. Well, I'm good to get rid of this. I have worn it for a music video once. Disco wave, gin citrus, watch the video. No link below because I'm too lazy to do that. <laughs> but you could do that because all you have to do is type in the search bar, disco wave, gin citrus, official music video, and boom, you've got this. <laughs> So this guy, oh no, I'm wanting to keep it now that it's all inside. I super love the massive amounts of poofta, as you probably guessed by all of the other videos. Uh, but it's always been just a little too big, and you can't alter it in the back because it has this beautiful, lovely skin-colored back piece that looks super strange if you just like tried to take it in half or something. So it's too big. But I'm probably going to wander around wearing this for a while because I enjoy it. It's not too tight and it's pretty and I feel like a princess. And that's my new day job if anyone asks. Full time princess extraordinaire. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, and this will have to be a, a Patreon only fans special because it's really, really sheer. I did wear it out in public once. I wore underwear with it, but. I don't know, it's probably too sheer for life. Too sheer for YouTube. Maybe we can do like one of these numbers. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go be a princess. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> I'm keeping it. <laughs> this is a terrible, shut up getting rid of all these stresses video. Because this one is just lovely, it's just extra super lovely, and I'll be keeping this if you need me. It doesn't look that big, right? You could just imagine that it's slightly better. I could put a hoop skirt under it. And da da. I'm wearing it. I'm wearing it. <laughs> to this dress portion of the video. Look, it's a dress. I'm wearing it. Okay. So this one I have worn out in public before. 
and it is just about a good length where I can walk around and do real life things, so that was nice. Uh, I do have sort of, I'll call it, let's call it a confession, or maybe just a reflection on how life used to be and how different it is now. So I, I had this, it was a charity fundraiser event that I wanted to go to, paid way, way, too, way too much for the tickets, but you know, it's a fundraiser, all that jazz. So I was wearing this dress out, and I was just way sick. I had a cold, runny nose, probably even a fever. <laughs> this was way, way, way before COVID. Uh, but, but I mean, back then that was considered toughing it out and good job, you did it, you made it. And I mean, perfect attendance in schools, they wanted you to be there and be sick and get all the other kids sick and help your immune system. I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> but this was one of the last times I remember leaving the house if I felt at all sick. I mean, it wasn't that long ago, but mostly I just don't leave if I feel sick. But I mean, there's this thing, it was a fundraiser, and it wasn't, wasn't reschedulable. There were lots of other people. Everyone else was doing it, <laughs> so I couldn't go. But it just really makes me relate and reflect in a different way using the lens of the past two years of, wow, if you're sick, stay home, and I'm like, gotcha, I'll be home if you need me, <laughs> versus, yeah, I can, I got this, I'm gonna make it, and I hung out with my mom, and like, sat right next to her, and I'm like, now I wouldn't even think of doing that, <laughs> that's called endangering someone's life now, <laughs> but back in the days, back in, when, when I was a kid, <laughs> anyways, I don't feel like this is a very flattering shape, it's another cupcake shape. Cupcakes are not a flattering shape. <laughs> wait, up and then wait, is the inverse cupcake? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, bells are very flattering shapes. Or maybe we'll call them makeup brushes. They're all just fan brushes. Just fan and fluid. But I don't know. Am I going to keep this? Am I going to get rid of it? I don't know. I'll watch the video and find out. <laughs> Should I get rid of this? We'll see. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Hope you're having a lovely and amazing day. And this is Jenna Citrus signing off, and I'll see you on the rest of the internet. Don't forget to check me out on Spotify, Amazon Music, iTunes. I have all sorts of albums and guided meditations and relaxation techniques out on the rest of the internet, and I want you to watch them. <laughs> yes, I do, because I don't get any, any uh, well, what do we call them, T tenths of cents on the dollar for YouTube plays, so this is free. You don't get ads. You're welcome. Congratulations. But if you do want to watch ads, it helps me make tenths of cents. Go check it out. Links are in the bio because it's something I just put in my bio link every time. There's this little section at the bottom that says, check out, like, uh, ways to help me make money for free. Something like that. Yeah. Go watch lots of videos. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have fun. Enjoy. Bye. <laughs> And now, to go back into the comfortable clothes. <laughs> I'm not keeping this one. So good news, bad news. This dress was too small for me, so I cut out some of the alterations, and then once I cut them out, I could zip it up, but then I lost a little bit of weight, and I also realized the alterations were mostly focused on this department, which is one of those departments that I can use all the alterations to make things fit for smaller, then I can. Then, I don't know, language words, you know. <laughs> one small ones. <laughs> have small ones, need things to cater to them. Uh, but, I've got this lovely little garment. Don't know if I should keep it or not. I just love the skirt. I think it is so pretty. And the top is too small, I do believe. But, I don't know. Should we keep it? Should we get rid of it? Is it a fun pumpkin colored dress? Does this scream Halloween and Thanksgiving to you? Or does it just scream like a fish skirt? <laughs> or does it not scream at all? Is it very quiet? Thoughts, considerations, checking out the mirror. Keep! <laughs> Who's keeping it? Who's keeping it? <laughs> I feel like the piles are about equally numbered in dresses. Keep and not keep. But 